Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. A while back I did a video in my mail time series on uh, this BC603 World War II receiver. This receiver was part of a transmitter receiver set, a system that went into Dodge Command cars, half tracks, light tanks, and even the Sherman tank. And um, uh, after the war, they became popular with amateur radio enthusiasts, and they would be modified to detune them or uh, to a different range of frequencies for things like municipal, police, ambulance, and other services so that they could uh, uh, kind of do what, what scanners do today. But anyway, um, this, uh, this unit has definitely been modified by an amateur radio enthusiast. For one, it, it uh, has a, um, they've replaced the dynamotor with a rectifier circuit uh, that uh, will take AC power from the wall socket and, and uh, convert it for use in the, in the radio. Um, this, this unit definitely works. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and plug it in and, and show you right now. All right, so first thing, I've, I've plugged it in and turned it on, and immediately you can see the rectifier tube heater is warming up. And in a moment, oh, there we go. We've got the neon power indicator light on. This is a, a, actually a receive indicator light. And uh, as I mentioned in the mail time video, the speaker was removed and they've got a quarter inch plug instead uh, this was some somebody's modification so in order to to hear the rush of static you gotta I have a uh, I have a handset here here you can hear the static rushing in and then just as a additional kicker for some more noise I'll uh, just touch this vintage antenna to the antenna post it's it's picking up background noise and the uh, circuits are amplifying that RF <clears throat> so anyway um, that's uh, that's a great sign I liked seeing that. This thing didn't didn't need any work uh, to turn it on. All the tubes tested good. There are 10 tubes inside this. Tubes used for RF amplification, for mixing, um, for audio amplification and rectifiers. Uh, 10 tubes, all, all in good shape. <clears throat> uh, a few things I've got to do to, to, to uh, bring this thing back up to period... Uh, specifications and that is my goal my goal is to bring this back at, to be a vintage um, vehicle radio so some things to, to make that happen number one I've got to replace this power supply with a dynamotor power supply this is a dynamotor and it, it's also called a motor generator back in the day <clears throat> and what it does is it, it uh, is a DC to DC converter. And it, this particular one converts 12 volts DC to a higher voltage, which is used by the cathodes in the vacuum tube system. It needs to be a 200 volt, a 200 volt, volt rail. <clears throat> and that is accomplished by a motor. The 12 volts turns a, a, a DC motor which has on uh, its spindle two sets of coils. One set of coils for converting the 12 volts into motion on the, uh, on the motor, and the other set of coils to convert the motion of the spindle into high voltage, just through different winding ratios and, and things like that. So <clears throat> I'll replace this with the dynamotor and uh, the last thing I'll do is I'll address this modified speaker driver where they've removed the driver. 
and I'll do that with what came in the mail today. So eBay is just amazing. Uh, I found on eBay a vintage Jensen driver loudspeaker for the BC603. This is a 1945 new inbox, new old stock driver. And uh, I am going to open this thing. This thing is, has uh, been boxed up for however many years. And I'm just going to pull it out and we'll take a look at it. Vacuum sealed in this foil and paper packaging. That's amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> they knew how to do it back then, didn't they? This extremely thorough packaging. There is some sort of a, a moisture absorber um, for keeping the humidity from affecting this thing. And there's there's the speaker with the driver that I will. Uh, hook back in to bring this with the dynamotor back to vintage condition so that it can go in a vehicle setup <clears throat> or be part of some other display. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff as much as I do. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. If you guys like what, what you see on this channel, please share it. Subscribe, and we'll keep showing you more. See you next time.